welcome to casting academy now we are discussed uh, mechanical topics in this um, what we discussed uh, first of all we discussed the subject point of view basic definitions formulas and uh, beyond problems Th this will be helpful for solving the big problem and uh, an analytical area and whatever may be the uh, public sector aspirants also so as per this concern now we are in the topics of basics of mechanisms basics of mechanism is the in, is the main topic of kinematic of machinery which is which undergoes the theory of machines in this today's topic is design of crank rocker mechanism design of crank rocker mechanism as already you know the crank rocker mechanism here is the a b is the crank b c is the coupler and c d is the rocker rocker this mechanism used in bend uh, shaping machine slotting machine etc here this mechanism converts the rotary motion of the crank into oscillatory motion of the rocker converts rotary motion into oscillatory motion rotary motion occurs at crank ab and oscillatory motion occurs at cd is the rocker here the pc is the coupler or connecting rod and ad is the frame or fixed link this is the basic uh, behind the crank rocker mechanism and you see the concern particular link lengths are ab length a crank length equal to a and bc is the connecting rod length equal to b and cd cd rocker length equal to c and frame length equal to d this is the crank rocker mechanism next right extreme position during the right extreme position the idea is to 180 degree for crank and connecting rod just you see a to b1 is the connect uh, crank and b1 to c1 is the connecting rod at this position the total line length equal to a plus b at 180 degree this is the right extreme position then angle between the rocker and the frame is uh, pi 41 just you see pi 41 so this is the case of right extreme position of the crank rocker mechanism and left extreme position left extreme position just you see the left extreme position the idea is the overall length of the this line is only the b length equal to b and you subtract b minus a is this area this length and this is the crank length so overall length for this line is only connecting rod so this part is crank a and this part is b minus a remaining lengths are equal the angle is pi 42 this is the case of left extreme position here this is the combined uh, diagram of the dotted line means left extreme position and dashed line means right extreme position the rocker moves from c2 to c1 c2 to c1 the overall length between this is a plus b crank and connecting rod so this is the combined uh, uh, combination of uh, left and right extreme position in the one diagram just you see again you see the overall picture pictorial view crank rocker right extreme left extreme and this is the combined one here you see the continuous line a b c d means actual crank position actual crank position this diagram shows the actual crank position and dashed lines a b 1 c 1 d right extreme position here the dashed line a b 1 c 1 d is the right extreme position and b 2 c 2 d a b 2 c 2 d d is the left extreme position that's that's this sound in dotted lines here 
रिटर्न स्ट्रोक एंड फॉरवर्ड स्ट्रोक रिटर्न स्ट्रोक क्रैंक आर बी वन टू बी टू इन काउंटर क्लाक वाइज क्रैंक आर वाट इज क्रैंक आर दिस इज सो इन दिस टू ए टू बी वन दिस इज द क्रैंक आर इन काउंटर क्लाक वाइज इन काउंटर क्लाक वाइज द राक आर आर्क सी वन टू सी टू इन रिटर्न स्ट्रोक द आर्क बिटवीन दि बी वन टू बी टू दट इज इन काउंटर क्लाक वाइज द राक आर आर्क सी फ्रम सी वन टू सी वन दिस मीन इन दिस एस इन काउंटर क्लाक वाइज इन फारवर्ड स्ट्रोक द आर्क बी टू टू बी वन आर्क बी टू टू बी वन आर्क बी टू टू बी वन थ्रो एन एंगल बीटा हियर द आर्क सी टू टू सी वन आर्क सी टू टू सी वन दिस इज द केस रिटर्न स्ट्रोक एंड फारवर्ड स्ट्रोक now what happen the crank rocker mechanism the input link rotates and output link swings or oscillates here is the case input link rotates and the output link swings or oscillates difference between the slider crank with the crank rocker is slider replaces the rocker simply slider replaces the rocker difference between the slider crank with the crank rocker slider replaces the rocker to find the rocker motion capability or swing angle calculation limit positions of rocker has to be obtained to find the rocker motion capability swing angle calculation rocker motion capability means swing angle calculation limit positions of the rocker has to be obtained which means right and left extreme positions we have to calculate for swing angle calculation Return stroke angle throw alpha counter clockwise B one to B two rocker swing C one to C two throw an angle by two. Just you see the concept. Ret uh, angle alpha and B one to B two angle alpha. This is the alpha angle and B one to B two B one to B two rocker swing C one to C two. from c1 to c2 this is called return stroke and uh, vice versa uh, sorry again uh, forward stroke equal to c2 to c1 just opposite uh, angle pi 1 to but crank rotates angle beta that is equal to 360 minus alpha just you see 360 minus beta this is the case so crank rocker input link rotates output link swings or oscillates the difference between the slider crank with the crank rocker is slider replaces the rocker so find the motion capability or swing angle calculation limit positions we have to calculate return stroke during the return stroke the crank rotates through an angle alpha in counter clockwise direction from rocker from p b1 to b2 rocker swings c1 to c2 the forward stroke c2 to c1 angle pi 1 to crank rotates angle of crank is beta equal to 360 minus alpha so the quick return time ratio quick return time ratio is time for forward cutting stroke divided by time for return or ideal stroke equal to alpha by beta or alpha divided by 360 minus alpha again 360 degree minus beta divided by beta so this is the time for cut forward cutting stroke and return stroke when q equal to 1 this ratio greater than 1 mechanism becomes a unit time ratio mechanism mechanism is a unit time when q greater than 1 the mechanism becomes a unit time mechanism so this is basic theory behind the crank rocker mechanism just you Uh, draw the graphically and you have to find what position is there just to practice this and also theory behind you also just to go through this this formula is very important to find out the ratio next problem related for this so now you go through the problem solved problems of design of crank rocker mechanism the link lengths of a four bar mechanism are fixed link equal to 72 mm input link crank is 32 coupler 50 mm the output link is 60 mm determine graphically the rocker swings angle of output link so what we have to determine the rocker swing angle 
of output link. Also find whether this mechanism is a quick return mechanism or not. If the left input link rotates clockwise and the right output link completes forward stroke from left to extreme position to right extreme position. As you basic you strong in this. Okay, first of all you uh, the given mechanism crank cracker mechanism. The given mechanism is crank cracker mechanism. So fixed link is 72 mm and A to B is the crank. A to B is the crank and B to C is the connecting rod and C to D is the rocker. So what we have to find this 65 degree only we want to find. This is output rocker angle, swing angle. So first of all you graphically draw 72 uh, in horizontal uh, put arc from D to C 60 mm. So here also A to C 82 mm. So totally A plus B you put on arc. So both arcs connects at C, uh, intersect at C. Then we go to draw this. So finally we got the angle like this 65 degree. This is the we want the output rocker angle. So in counterclockwise degree alpha is the cutting stroke and beta is the return stroke. So C1 B1 is the 50 mm. So now you come to the problem. So first of all, you write down the given data as first AD equal to 72 mm, AB equal to 32 mm, BC equal to 50 and CD equal to 60 mm. So uh, first you read the problem then you got the idea this mechanism under the crank cracker mechanism. Design of crank cracker mechanism under the category of design of crank cracker mechanism. Here rocker swing angle of output link from just you see the a b1 c1 d a b1 c1 d this is the left extreme position a b c d a b c d just on triangle a b c d max right extreme position and a b a b1 a b a b1 is the crank and b1 c1 is the connecting rod and c1 d is the rocker 60 mm and d a d equal to 72 mm this is the case. Right. By measurement, rocker swing angle equal to angle C D A, which means the angle D is 65 degree. Angle D is 65 degree. From this, you start 65 degree. So this is the zero line. So angle swing angle max the 65 degree. By measurement, striker swing angle equal to angle CDA equal to 65 degree. So, first question answer is 65 degree rocker swing angle. Then you find out this mechanism, check whether the mechanism is a quick return or not. So, just you take the time of cutting to return stroke ratio that is equal to angle of rotation of crank for forward stroke divided by angle of rotation of crank for return forward, uh, sorry, return stroke. This, this is mad mistake return stroke again the angle of rotation of crank for both forward and return stroke is 180 degree so we got 180 degree minus 360 degree minus 180 degree equal to 1 since the q equal to 1 the given 4 bar mechanism will form the quick return mechanism since the ratio of time of cutting to return stroke equal to 1 the 4 bar mechanism will form a quick return mechanism so i am trying to explain the design of a crank rocker mechanism basic idea only here a lot of parameters we have to calculate and conclude uh, for a final design uh, later we will discuss about the synthesis of mechanism that is related to uh, mechanism design also so uh, i put all the uh, returnable materials in my channel as pdf so viewers please uh, subscribe and support my channel then only uh, I, I will be encouraged so please support my channel and thank you to all